Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of my Folly 4 creation kit tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove fog from the cell and add lighting. Alright, first what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Data, activate the master file and make sure your file you're working on is set as the active file. You can do that by double, double right clicking. Then hit OK and let it load in. OK, now that we're loaded in, we're going to go and find our uh, active cell. OK, just double click on the cell and bring yourself into it. OK, to check to see if you have fog in the cell, what you can do is you can hit the... Make sure the sky button is active and then toggle off the lighting. And then as you can see there, I have fog all around the cell. That's pretty easy to fix. All we're going to do is going to right click the cell in the cell view window, hit edit. Go to lighting and then we're going to change these two values here to zero. Just hit apply and then hit OK. OK, as you can see now the fog's all removed so that's 110% better looking. OK, so the easiest way to do the lighting in this is to hit this little option here. And what that's going to do is that's going to spawn four lights evenly spread across the whole cell and they're all going to be very evenly lit. So if I hit A there, as you can see it's very well lit. It's nice and even and you'll be able to see pretty well. So I'm just going to turn the sky off there. Doing it that way is perfectly fine but it's not the way I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm just going to delete those and show you a different way to do it. Okay. Let's get back into the entrance. We'll work on the entrance just for this, this video. And then you can obviously take this and uh, continue it on with your own, your own save. Okay, so. Gonna get into our little cell option here. And what we're gonna do is, in the filter, hit light. And then what we're going to do is go to Static, Underworld Objects. Click that, and then scroll down, and pick all these are, are lights, so you can just drag them in, and that's a bit big. But you can drag them in and then check them out or double click them and see what they look like in the cell view. So I think I'll put two of these in. I'm going to hit Z, drag them up and then put them in level with the wall. Okay, I'm gonna turn off rotation snap. Get a better, uh, get them to fit a little bit better. Okay, so, control D to duplicate that. Hit T to get back into the uh, the object window. Okay, so I'm just going to drag that over here and place that right about there. Let's see if that's even enough. Okay, we'll drag that over a little bit. And then I'm actually going to hold Control and select both of them and drag them up. About there, okay. So I've got two static lights in up there. What you can do now is that's they don't actually emit any light. So what you need to do is go to the light tab wherever I can find it here. Should be under the same sort of. Okay, there we go. Light, and all these. Are just basic lights as you can see the default lights are just sort of normal white light you'd find in the game so what you can do is drag them up to the light and hit the S key to scale them for how much light you want to be emitted from that uh, specific light you can hit ctrl D and duplicate it in place to make it 
double double the brightness. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it over to this little place here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is turn the sky on. And as you can see, there's that little hallway lit. It's very dimly lit, but it'll uh, obviously you can add more lights in and drag them to make them bigger and stuff. So, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hop in game here to show you what it's gonna look like. Obviously, if you just want to do this, you're gonna need to add a lot more lights and a lot more static lights to make it look a little bit more realistic. But for now, this tutorial this will do. Okay, we're in game now, so as you can see, it looks just the same as it did in the creation kit. There's no, no difference, no bugs or anything. It's pretty simple to do, and hope this uh, tutorial helped. I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.